Hey YouTube friends, so we're going to do something a little different today. Um, actually going to make a live edge cedar picnic table. Uh, I've made quite a few of these, just never filmed it, so I figure I'll film this one. So I'll show you what we got for material. These right here are going to be the, the benches. That's actually, I believe it's Port Orford cedar. Then we have our Western Red. I slap this with the chainsaw mill. This is going to be the top. I got to do some cleaning up. Most of these wider ones that I get rejected from the mill, like this one in particular, you can see had a nail right there, but they're three sided. So I'll use some tools to just give this a live edge look. And then we got these four full length ones. This is what the benches will sit on, be attached to the legs. We'll uh, be planing the two by sixes through there. And then over here, we have some more cedar there and I made some I've made enough of these I made some templates here so this is for the leg this one is going to be the piece that's going to go from the ones the benches go on to the underside of the top and there's one piece that depends on the top that uh, you cut per that gets screwed down to the top and that's what the legs get screwed to so let's get you set up here use an angle there uh, There we go, that looks about half decent, so might be a funny angle, but anyhow, so here's what we got. These are cut at a 31.6 degree angle. It was a stop on the chop saw and it was right about where I wanted. And they're 28 and a half inches long. We played around with heights, this seems to be a good height. So The way I'll be doing these is I'll take and I'll just uh, mark it there. And I'll just get it lined up and cut it. So what I've got here is I got a shop back hooked up to my shop saw. The shop back saw and so. This piece here is just going to have a 45 on either end. So, so that'll have just a 45 right there. Um, Long side of this one's 20 and 3 quarters. The inside dimension's going to be 17 and 3 quarters. At least on this thickness of board, that's something you gotta pay attention to. We'll only need two of these, whereas we obviously needed four legs, right? So, we'll get this cut. got those pieces cut and I got a bunch of these already pre-cut. I'll show you what I, you'll see it later in the video, but what I do is this ends up kind of like this. So it gives you that little shoulder there and these are what contact the ground. So I kind of do that setup 
because I uh, figure that's where it's going to rot. And why not re just, you know, as that starts to rot, you just replace this little uh, 10 inch foot on each leg. So now we've just got to cut a four of these. Now we have all of this stuff all cut up, so it's time to get the plane in. Oh, okay, so now we'll do some planing on these boards. So this thing gets a little loud. Throw some headphones in. I'm gonna plane the edges first, and then I'll go through and do the thickness plane on all of them. So basically, joint the edges. I don't have a joiner. This works good enough. Okay, so I'm getting ready to knock the corners off on these and you really want to watch your fingers when you do this. Um, really need to get a joiner. Um, if I'm doing a bunch of these, I'll hook them up, hook it up to the dust collection, but 
just doing a couple here so basis of what I'm doing so you'll see these grooves right here what I'm gonna do is I lay that groove right here and it just takes that corner off legs out here a ways make it stable so it doesn't tip side to side and I like them uh, to be able to put my legs a ways out here for the same reason so the table doesn't flip if you, someone gets up and there's only you know no one on one side so it looks like I can do a 24 inch here about 27 there so I'll cut those and be right back okay so got them cut now we'll uh, just hand plane these ones up real quick this up so put it away and bring you over here so this is the shaping disc on my angle grinder it's kind of like a, <laughs> a power wood rasp in a way so kind of what our goal is is this is the actual live edge side well we'll come over here we'll We'll round these corners, touch up in here. Okay, here we go.
inches down, figure out where I'm going to put them. And I'll make a mark and I'll cut back like this at a 45 and paint those ends and then screw the benches down probably put another coat on the top the table's done okay youtube okay youtube friends so battery died uh i didn't catch it on the gopro but all the more i did was trimmed all those off at a 45 put four screws from the top or from the bench down into the each two by six which means 16 per side and this is the finished table all done and ready to go out to the customer so they sure turn out nice it's a nice beautiful all cedar uh, picnic table you know and when you take a look at it you remember and you can tell because I want to keep maximum width so there's that but that's the natural live edge that's the one I did so turns out pretty nice so I'm gonna go in and I got just enough time to get cleaned up and go pick the kids up from school so I'll catch y'all later don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more